Mark Zuckerberg is scheduled to testify tomorrow and to explain how and why Facebook gave Cambridge Analytica, this company, personal information on 87 million Facebook users. This is information that was used by the Trump campaign in the election. Zuckerberg will be in the hot seat. Usually when he's in the hot seat, you know, he's getting a perm. But this will be... <laughs> tomorrow, if things go poorly tomorrow, we might be forced to remember our friends' birth dates again, which could be sad. <laughs> A lot of people are leaving Facebook to protest this breach of privacy using the hashtag delete Facebook, which I just want to say, before you do that, I want to remind you, if you delete Facebook, you're going to have to talk to your mother on the phone to tell her what's going on. <laughs> so think about that. But this data, this data was, it's an interesting story. And Cambridge Analytica got this data from Facebook users. It was originally collected by a University of Cambridge psychology professor who created one of those personality test apps. And as soon as you, as the user, agreed to the terms and services, that big contract, Facebook all of a sudden had the right to share all your personal information without any limitations at all. So today, Facebook started sending notifications to those users who may have had their data tapped. And if you were one of them, go to your page. You may see this video message. Facebook tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.